Hi gorgeous people, today we're going to talk about how to let go of fear and the attachment to an outcome and how to read the signs of the universe when something is meant for you, for your highest good, um, that's going to support you in your development, in your growth and ultimately make your life better, right? So two things, um, a lot of times, let's say for example for me when I swim in the ocean uh, and I get a lot of the lessons from nature actually. When you're swimming in the ocean, a lot of times you would find yourself swimming against current. And this is really, really hard, especially if you're not a good swimmer, which I'm not. Um, the lifeguards in those situations tell you that the best thing to do is just remain calm, let go of fear that you're not gonna drown, wait until the current goes away, and then you can go back to shore uh, safely, right? So how can you translate this to real life? For example, you think that being in the city would bring you love, would bring you joy, like all your problems would disappear. So you move to that particular city. I'm gonna give you an extreme example. And you get a DUI, you're not able to find a place, you get robbed, you don't meet the right people, whatever it is, like all the signs of the universe are showing you you are trying to swim against current. So you have two options at this point. Either you can abort and say, you know what, this is not the right time, maybe it's not my city, or you can keep on trying to swim against current until the lessons get harder and harder. A lot of times lessons would be, it wouldn't be about moving to a new city, it would be, you know what, you need to stop choosing abusive relationships or you need to take better care of yourself, you need to love yourself more, whatever that is. It's gonna keep on repeating in your life until you understand it. Um, or it could be just you're passing through a hard period in your life, like planets are not aligned, you just need to lay low, this is not the time to move, whatever it may be. If you get that gut feeling that this is not a good idea and your solar plexus chakra would always speak to you, your inner voice would always say, this is not a good idea, listen to that voice. Listen to that voice, don't let the mind control you and say, no, 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 but I told myself by this age, I'm gonna be living in this city, and I'm gonna be doing this type of work and I'm not meeting my deadline that's in my head. Maybe the universe has something better for you, right? So never try to swim against current. Things that are supposed to be would be easy for you. And that's how you know, that's how you can read the signs of the universe when something is meant for you for the highest good. Second uh, thing I want to talk to you about is fear. How can you let go of fear and attachment to an outcome? Whenever we're in the ocean, we're like paralyzed. Oh my God, I'm going to drown. That's when fear talks. And a lot of times in our personal lives, whenever we get stuck on an outcome, let's say I need to get married by a certain age or I need to get the certain amount of income by a certain age, we put so much fear and attachment to the outcome. Like what if, because the, the actual vibration that we have behind that is it's not going to happen for me, right? It's not going to happen. I am not going to get those things. It's not meant for me. So we get attached to the fear and as a result, we drown, right? We try to like do things. We're not reading the signs of the universe. We're trying to go against current. We're not listening to our intuition and things get harder and harder. Always discern between those emotions. Um, let go of the attachment, I think. And it's really hard to do, right? Because we do want all those things to happen, but we truly believe that yes, those things are meant to me for for me to to have or something better or I'm at peace with whatever happens, which a lot of times we say that but we don't mean it. We truly have to be at peace. Then we let go of the fear, we float, we let go in the ocean and when the time is right, when the current is gone, where the current is going with us, we swim back to the ocean safely. If you like this uh, content, uh, please subscribe to my channel or download my virtual course. My name is Tanya from Tanya Reiki and I help people heal and transform.